Okay, time to style the admin panel. Now, I would really like to keep styling to a minimum, but I'll need the admin panel to look elegant. So it's time to bring in our old friend Twitter Bootstrap. So we'll need a main layout for pretty much every admin page and some sort of modal layout for login. So let's start by creating these two layouts, but first let's do some cleaning up. Open up the application folder and just delete the welcome controller because we don't need that anymore. And just clean out the page controller like so. Also, we won't be needing the welcome message view anymore. So let's just delete that as well. Okay, time to get going. Okay, so we agreed we needed two view files. So we'll start by creating a view file called underscore layout underscore main and that will hold our main layout. Next, we'll create a layout called underscore layout underscore modal and that will be the basis of our modal layout. Next, we'll need a controller to load the layouts from. So let's go into the admin controllers folder and open up dashboard. This is a file we created in an earlier session. Now let's just make that a controller and have it extend admin controller. Inside of this controller, let's add an index action and let's just go ahead and load the main layout there. Let's also add a modal action and let's load the modal layout there. Now we have our testing controller set up. Let's go ahead and bring in Twitter Bootstrap. Setting up Twitter Bootstrap is a breeze. I'll just download all the files and unpack them. So now I'm looking at a folder containing all the CSS, images and JavaScript files we'll need. So let's just copy these and bring them into the public folder of our project. Now in a real life situation, you might want to keep these separate from the files that are used for the front end, but I'll just leave it like this. Now the next step is to create the HTML. So let's go over to the getting started section of Twitter Bootstrap and just copy the bare bones setup right here. Now let's just use the main layout to set up Twitter Bootstrap. Just paste the code in like so. And now it's time to bring in some dynamic code. Let's put the references to the CSS and JavaScript files into a site URL function. That way they will always be absolute references and they will render correctly in whatever environment we're in. So let's start by the CSS file. Just cut that, open up PHP text and echo a site URL function. And we'll just paste in the CSS file again. Now let's do the same for the JavaScript file. Open up PHP tags, echo site URL, and just paste in the reference like so. Now let's just check this in the browser. Go to admin slash dashboard. And as you can see, we've got a hello world. And it looks like it's styled by Twitter Bootstrap. Okay, so now it's time to set the meta title. Since we'll need it on every page, let's set it inside of the admin controller. More specifically, let's set it inside of the constructor. We'll call it meta underscore title and we'll set it to a string for now, like that. Save that, copy the string, and now we should be able to reference it as a meta title variable. Save it and let's just see if it works. And no, it doesn't. And I'll tell you why. It's because from our dashboard controller, we forgot to load the data into the layout. So let's fix that. For both instances and now if we go back to the browser and reload sure enough we get my osmu cms <laughs> let's just change that into awesome like that okay so next we know our cms will need a menu so let's just go over to twitter bootstrap click components and then click nav bars and see if we can find an example here let's just copy that and bring it into our main layout like so. Just clean it up a little bit. Now let's adjust the styling just a little bit. Maybe add a navbar static top class and maybe inverting it so it will be dark gray like so. So let's go back to the browser and see how that looks. And that works for me. So let's go ahead and bring in the page content, copy the meta title we've got here and let's just add that to the title. And make sure the meta title links to the proper page, which is the dashboard. Now let's add some links to the menu. Um, we'll add a link to the dashboard, of course, just paste that in. Next, we'll need a place where we can manage pages. So let's add that as well. 
And finally, we'll also add a link to the user section. And that will be all for now. Okay, so it's time to take out the hello world and start adding some code. First of all, we'll need a div with the class of container. And then I would like to have two columns. One for the main content, so that we'll have a class of span 9. And one for the sidebar, so that it'll have a class of span 3. Let's go. I'll just add in some comments here. And for the sidebar. Inside of the main column, let's just have a section. And add a header to that. And let's just put a placeholder there. Now the sidebar would also take a section like that. And let's just put our login name there. So that'll just be a placeholder for now, link into my email address. And let's also do a logout button there. And that will link to a future page that we'll call admin slash users slash logout. Let's just clean that up just a little and check in the browser. And that doesn't look too good. I probably forgot to put in a row. Yes, I did. I'll just put that in right now. One at the top, one at the bottom. And we'll just rename this to row and indent that like so. And it should work just fine right now. And it does. Now let's just work on the links. This would have to be mail to, of course. And let's just give that a class as well. So I'll just copy this and add a class of I icon user like so. And then just add the email address after that. And what that will do is it will show an icon before the actual link. Let's have a look. And yeah, that looks much better. Now let's repeat that for the logout link, but with a different icon. And sure enough, that looks just fine. Okay, so that's all for the basic styling of our admin panel. Let's also style the login modal. The first thing that springs to mind is that we'll have reusable code here. So let's just abstract that out of the layout. We'll put that in a view component called page head. So we'll need to create a folder for that. Go into the views folder and create a components folder. And inside of that components folder, create a view called page head. And let's paste in the code that we just cut out of the main layout. Now we'll need to load that page head into the main layout again. So let's do it like this admin components and that would be page head just check to see if it's still working and no it doesn't it's unable to load the requested file so there's probably something wrong here okay i see i put all the layout and the views straight into the views folder let's just create a subfolder for the admin views that will clean up our code just take that and bring them in here now we'll probably also have to go back to the dashboard controller and change this to admin slash layout main and admin slash layout modal. Let's check one more time and sure enough it's working. In that same manner, let's also create a page tail inside of the components folder. And let's just empty that out and cut in all the code that's at the bottom of the main layout. And then we'll just need to load the page tail here. So let's just save all and reload. And yes, it's working quite well. So now that we have that, let's close all the others and open up our modal file. We'll just create a generic HTML5 file. Make sure we load the components head like so and the components page tail file like so. So let's just hack this file and make it look like a modal. Okay, first of all, we'll need to create a div with a class of modal. Now let's just add a class of show and give it a role of dialog. Now when we do this in Twitter Bootstrap, it will show a dialog screen. And just to add to that, let's just do a little bit of styling on the body and set the background to a dark gray or something. Now our modal needs some content as well. So let's create a div with a class of modal header. And then we'll also create a div with a class of modal body. And we'll create a div with a class of modal footer. Let's just place a page title inside of this class here. And let's just place a copy statement inside of the footer. And let's open up some PHP tags and echo the meta title at the bottom. Let's check. And sure enough, we have a perfect modal here. 
So let's finish up by cleaning up our code, like so. And that's all for styling the admin panel. Now the next video will be all about user authentication. I'll see you then.